This is northern Sumatra in Indonesia. We have travelled 600 nautical miles to get here and we stopped in to meet up with our mate and to get some much long for waves. This beautiful island is very remote and even when there was no coronavirus, surfers were drawn here for uncrowded waves. But probably not this uncrowded though. This is pretty rare, having this place to ourselves with two other dudes. And we were loving it. grateful that he has that wet weather gear. It's been put to good use. Yeah. Having an open helm is not fun when it's raining and squalling. It really isn't. But makes a difference when you're warm. So we just pulled anchor. We're heading off and we had a nice time here but yeah we didn't get much surf. We had a surf the first day we got here. Water's clear though, and this was really nice to start. We did washing and made water, and I cut some barnacles off the bottom. There wasn't many, but um, the bottom looks pretty good actually. It was helpful. And we're on our way to Afulu to get our diesel, and then we're good. We'll just keep heading south and uh, turn out to the Indian when we get low enough. Lumpy today, but that's a uh, treasure island. A little bit of swell, but winds on it. I feel we can't just hang here. Actually, we'd like to just hang here for a while, but you know, the world's closed down. Indonesia doesn't want us, so we got to move on. Move on, people. Move on. Happen to leave this beautiful place. I think we're, we're closer than 20 nautical miles. Maybe like 15. But we're hoping this thing <laughs> goes around, goes the other way, goes somewhere but to us. But we've got all the sails down and just gotta, we just had lunch, so we've got to clean up so we got it doesn't miles. roll everywhere. Oh, it's pretty nice miles. I was right. About four, four hours, three and a half hours. So we're just coming into a fulu. We're following Kev. Kev's on that boat just ahead of us. We haven't been here before. He knows this place really well, so he's waiting for us to go in. It's a bit of a reef to come in. The surf breaks all the way along here. Had a pretty cruisy day. Motored 50 nautical miles. If you had time to explore this area, there'd be so many like secret breaks wouldn't be funny it would be awesome we'd love to stay guys we'd love to 
Indonesia open up and just stay for a bit. Hopefully, everything goes to plan, we can get fuel and get out again. We've used 300 litres of diesel getting to here and we were hoping to leave Indonesia to cross the Indian Ocean with as much diesel as we could carry. So just stay for a little while. We dropped anchor in this secluded bay and rested for the night. The diesel was brought out to us in jerry cans, so to transfer, we siphoned the diesel into ours. That is a full, we're just doing all the tanks, all the jerry cans on the deck. Just siphoning out of the container that we just got from a shop. We filled our 280 litres of jerry cans and we were truly grateful to be able to do this. That's it. We're just grateful we can get fuel. Yeah. Otherwise we don't know how we get fuel because you can't go ashore in with the COVID. Uh, friend of a friend, helping a friend, so it's, it's good. Happy days. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down watching that video if you liked it don't forget to put a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe we'll see you later guys bye